Hey, what's up guys? Jack here, and today we're checking out another new map that's just been added to the BF1 CTE from the In the Name of the Tsar DLC. This is Albion, and as you can see, it's bloody massive. It's huge. Seven flags. I've already played one round on it, and it's really, really good. I like it. First impressions, it's great. Now, the deal is with this map, the Germans spawn here on this boat and they get loads of little boats to use and they're like these new transport boats they also get the attack boats as well and the boats come in and land and then the the front goes down and you can use them as deploy points it's great the map is massive it's really spread out and it plays nicely you know lots of great pockets of action and i wanted to do like a live commentary get some of the best bits and just Go with the flow, I suppose. Now, I have joined a game mid-match here. Look at this. This is the new bomber in the game. How cool is that animation? So this bomber has, like, loads of different positions on it. And it's got this, like, wicked animation. I think it's obviously still kind of work in progress, but it's really cool to see a plane that big and walk around it like that. Very cool. I don't know why that's wobbling like that though. But this thing has taken an absolute kicking from those anti-air guns on the ship. Oh, they're on that ship there. Oh, I see. So that's the deployment. That's the behemoth. Right, so on this level, the Germans get the destroyer and the Russians get the airship that comes in. So there's actually two different behemoths on this level. I don't think they can be like in the level at the same time, but that's a first for the game. It's cool. Th this map has a lot of exciting things in it. I loved Love Cow Pass. I'm going to jump out here. Absolutely love Love Cow Pass. Brusilov Keep. I think what they gave us is a very early version of that map. These are the new boats, by the way. See the people spawn on them like that. Check him out. I think I can destroy him. Yeah, boat damage. But this map also has... Oh my goodness me. Wow, that plane just buzzed my head. Lots of planes in this map. Lots of planes. <laughs> cool kind of sunset there as well. That would have been a lighthouse. That's the Dreadnought. Trying to completely disintegrate me. And there's also these two massive cannons as well. There's one there and there's one there. And these cannons are huge. Like bigger than any other cannons in the game. And the climbing animation to get into them takes like three seconds. And you have to repair them at the start of the game as well. Support players can just uh, use their wrenches or the hammers. One of the two and repair them. And then you can actually get into them and use them. I don't know if I'll get to use one this round. I don't think I'll have enough time. Oh, there's a nice little boat. But this is exciting. I like it. It's good. It's, it's a massive map. It feels like a classic battlefield map. Should keep it at 12 damage there. I am going to try and get across, actually, to this bit, because this, this is where the cannons are. I don't know if there's one there as well, maybe. Maybe there's even one... Is that B? That's the B flag. I'm not sure. Like I said, I've only played this map once, so... I don't know my, my way around. There's definitely one at D and E, because they're the batteries. I think that's what they're called. But let's head up there. Hopefully I can show you what they look like. But this is kind of heading towards the Russian spawn as well. The Russians don't spawn out at sea. But look at this. Check this out. Oh my god, the sound. And the splash damage is amazing. But it goes 360 degrees as well. If you want to get into it, you have to press E. And it climbs up the ladder and jumps in. And you should be able to see him. You can actually be killed up there. 
So if you're not careful, you're going to get snipe standing up there. There's one at E as well. I think that's one of the big planes, isn't it? I mean, I'm barely going to touch it with a MP18 trench, right? That thing's massive. They look so cool when they come down, by the way. The medic is bailing it. Look at that. Oh, yes. <laughs> it's a fresh map, you know? It feels like they've put a lot of effort into this. and I mean, we've seen, what, three of the maps now from the In the Name of the Tsar DLC. Like I said, look how pass. I think it's good. Love the horses on that and the, the lances. Uh, Brusselow Keep, the map that we got a couple days ago and I did a video on that. Yeah, it was all right. I mean, I, I, I felt like that's a, I felt like that was a very early version of that map. But this, I mean, I've only played a couple games on it. Really good fun so far. And we'll be jumping into a full game next as well. So as you can see here, this is the <laughs> the German spawn. Look at this. This is a spawn. It's a boat. It's like a full-on naval strike style beach landing. Oh, it gets me excited. New stuff. New stuff's cool. I don't know if you can like... Can you go to the top of this ship? You can. It's got a big wheel there. You can't... I don't think you can like control it though. But you could actually sit on here if you wanted to, I suppose, and uh, do some epic long-range snipes. You know, for the guys out there that care about how many meters the, the longest headshot is. <laughs> well, now you can get an even longer one. Just got to camp on the boat and never play the objective. Hopefully I can uh, jump in that. Watch out for the sharks. There's a big old destroyer in the background there as well. Yeah, I'm just hoping that the um, the remaining three maps that they haven't shown us are, you know, as, as good and, and as exciting as what the hell happened there. That's the first couple that we've got our hands on. Is that just really shallow there? I'm not sure. I feel like I got that stuck. <laughs> I think it's just quite shallow. See, like that sniper, he's going for the big one. Oh, he's in. He's in with me. I actually just torpedoed myself there as well. There's the lighthouse. I'm going to leave this here. I don't want to beach it. But other people can use that, I think, if they want to. Get on this landing craft. Someone's controlling it. You right, mate? He's having a good time. He's having a good time on his horn. Is that the first horn in BF1, by the way? Right? None of the vehicles have horns on, do they? Maybe that's insinuating that all of the vehicles will get horns. <laughs> I'd love to see some horns in the game. But just look how big this map is. There's someone sniping at me right now. My only worry with it is that the planes are going to be so dominant. That's one thing that I worry about. Because the anti-air doesn't seem to have much cover. And you can repair the anti-air now, but who does that? I mean, barely any support players carry the wrench anyway. Maybe they'll carry it a bit more considering that you can fix the, uh, the big old guns with it. We'll see. I think this bridge was destroyed last time. I need to get in the water there, I'm gonna die, I think. Obviously the map is lacking in detail in some areas, still work in progress. But yes, I do worry about planes. On this map in particular. And before I get killed by a plane. Got some trenches here that you can fight in. I think I hear someone. Oh, honey, 
Yeah, there's quite a few up there, actually. And this is what you tend to get as well, I found, on this map, around the batteries. People actually, like, group up there and, and like, hold the lines and stuff. Can I shoot him? I think that's in there. Maybe he's invincible. I don't know. I'm a medic, though, so I can't do any damage to it. I mean, I've not even been to that part of the map. But you see, it's been destroyed. So this support player, if he's got a, a wrench, maybe he will. Uh, maybe he'll try and fix that. Ah, bursting doesn't really work with that. It's the new medic rifle I've got here. Is it a rifle? I guess. I can hear a couple of people down here. All friendlies. Yeah, okay. Has it been repaired? I'm not sure. Yeah, they've repaired it. Oh, it's just cool. It's just so cool. And I guess we can go and check out the other parts of the map now as well. F. I mean, he's got the attack order on F there, so perhaps we should push it. Although we are losing E. Couple of enemies going up there as well. Let's go fight over E. That could be fun. Yeah, this is going to be good. I'm on my own though. I am on my own. The sentry kit's there too. Yeah, find the it It's no good. Oh! I've got to get away from that. He's going to kill me. <laughs> Come on, let's go! Ah, <laughs> I was gonna run up to him and try and knife him. Sentry's just got way too much armor, but he busted. Um, how are we looking? G, let's let's try and get to G, okay? I want to try and get to G, because I've not been there yet. What are you looking at? What's he even over there? Is that another gun? I don't know. There's some weird netting here. We got some cover here. Nice defensive position for them there, isn't it? Suck on that. Three damage. I can hear some snipers. There's another one back there. Poor guy here. <laughs> Dolphin diving in a battlefield game. <laughs> I thought I did like loads of damage to him. I just got the assist counts as kill. We got a bomber supporting us now as well. That could be nice actually. If I go in there. It's the new one. Oh that's actually a gun seat there. Are there any more seats? No it's all full at the moment. Oh, hey. Oh, that's cool. Didn't expect to see that. I thought that would just kind of uh, bink him around the plane rather than actually having an animation there. Good, good attention to detail. I'm hoping that I can actually get to use one of the uh, batteries as well. Because I'd like to show you like what the splash damage is like on them. Yeah, Pretty yeah, insane. Yeah. I think you just hit the rock there, mate. Imagine taking out a plane with that thing. Or a behemoth. Uh, yeah, tapping's quite good with that. I was in full auto mode there, but I was just tapping it. 
Awesome. Thank you, Joe. Go for a dirty bayonet charge. There's a lot of enemies here. Sniper up here. Yeah, I'm losing spare. Ah. Yeah, let's get hit for. Have I been spotted? They're above me. Yeah, I think I've been spotted there. No medics around either. I'm going to skip that one. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's go G. I still want to go and see what G looks like. We might lose it though. I don't know if I'll get there on time. Squad mates under fire. Like that kind of range, I think that's the limit for this gun. Oh, sniper. Ouch. There's going to be a lot of snipers in this DLC. <laughs> Lots of snipers. Because it's so open, you know? Sniper's paradise, these maps are. We are capturing this now. Enemies over here, though. I think there's quite a few. Ooh. Shotgun right next to me. Boom. Nasty. Um, very even game as well. I mean, like, you could spend the entire map just fighting over this here. If you wanted to. You could easily do that. Look at all those spare boats. Maybe instead of all the boats, they could put a couple of horses in as well. Well, that's a terrible spawn for me. I just press Q to lean. Been playing too many battlegrounds. Is this in a decent spot? Oh, it's so satisfying taking out planes. Potato. Yeah, that's the elephant. Oh, let's cap this point. Stop them spawning here. I think it's about time. See all the planes in the air right now. They're still over there, I reckon. Could be a sniper looking there. I want to go and peek it though. <laughs> the big plane's going down. Yeah, there's definitely something going on back here. I think it's out of bounds for me though. If I do that, is that the one? That's not the one. Oh, we got that point. That's what G looks like, I guess. What's it called? The command post. There's another gun here, but I don't think you can fix that one. I think that one is just permanently destroyed. Field cannon. Interesting spot there. I could hit that battery up there, couldn't I? If I aim a bit higher. There we go. 14 damage. As long as I don't get sniped, I should be able to take this out. Quickest reload in the West. It is 14 damage a hit. <laughs> Oh, let's go. Disable. I love that it doesn't change the position of it, by the way. I think someone else got it. Ah, that's a shame. I didn't get any points for that. I helped. Right. They're getting the command post back. Right, we're going to go on a little excursion around here then. Come on, buddy. I'm gonna chill for a second. 
Soll ich seine Wunden versorgen? Soll ich seine Wunden Recall is really wobbly on that. Spy meme came in with the sock with camel there. Stop me in my tracks. Should we do some sniping? Let's check out. Um, yeah, the most in the gun marksman. We'll go to E. Hello. <laughs> the Russian axe. No. Where did you come from? Oh. Didn't see those guys there. I want to go back there again and get revenge. I've got the classic sniper Mars combo, which is clearly the best combo for a scout. Oh, careful. Okay, a guy further back. I think we're okay. They got E though. Ouch. Oh no, someone else. Well, hopefully you guys are getting like a good indication of what the map's like. I'm trying to, you know, move around a lot and show you guys new things because I know not everyone has access to the CTE, do they? There's a guy up here somewhere. <laughs> That's a double barrel, I think. Turn around, guys, help me! Immense. I have a sanitator! Anyone else around? I hear someone actually. In there. <laughs> They're just in that shrubbery there. I'm not sure. Definitely heard them. I reckon there's someone just hiding here. Perhaps that was them. <laughs> and they've been murdered. Just saw him in the window there. Extra bullet back in. Shot in the legs. He must have been low. Okay, right. I think we have this point. The Swarb Lighthouse. Swarb. What is the Swarb? More enemies, perhaps? No? Get some long range snipes. That guy there. Oh! Cheeky. See, I don't know, like, if I could see his head, like, would I be able to snipe him? I'm not sure. Don't know how that works. Is this gonna work? Can I move this? Yeah, okay. I thought it was facing the other way. This has a couple guns on it as well. Oh, there's that horn. Is it a fog horn, maybe? I'm not sure. I like the sound of it, though. Landing craft. You can almost, like, see the people running around on that. It's nearly dead. Someone's killed it. That medic's going to be reviving now. Give me a chance to push up, maybe. What the hell? Okay, you're friendly. Are they repairing it? I think they're repairing it. The pilot's repairing it. 
If you hold E, like, that's normally the best way to get it. Am I in it? I think I'm in it. Uh, I think that's bugged, though. Why am I dying? I don't know, but we're going to go with it. I jumped out there. I've got a crosshair now as well. Okay. Take the gas mask off. I mean, you just get hammered. The AA! AA should be shooting at planes, not at cannons, okay? <laughs> don't forget that. Are they inside? Inside the windmill. 30 Sergeant Major on CTE. Is that good? I've got no idea. They've added a load of CTE dog tags now though. A bit high I think. Missed. He moved. What's going on there? Hey! I totally should have gotten a kill credit there. <laughs> Bloody seagulls! Go away seagulls. No food here. No tanks though, I've just realised. No tanks on this level. Any snipers? Any snipers. Pro there in the building. Let a bit too much there. Shot in the butt. That's gonna be sore. He won't be sitting on that for a while. What? Just think about all the Easter eggs that they could hide on this level as well. Like it's so massive. I can't quite climb up these rocks though, that's, that's a bit awkward. I'm not sure if they've finished the collision there. Come on, get up, you can do it. Smoke! Didn't think I'd see a smoke on the battlefield today. Oh shit, there's loads of people here. So I can get a flare at the back. Nope, it's the sentry again. I'm not interested in what he's got to say. Is there a bad guy in there? There is. Right, so can I... Can I see him and shoot him? There's the animation, look. Check that out. There's a guy on the AA cannon back there. Shit, grenade! Russian standard grenade. That's a new type of grenade as well, I think. The guy on the AA gun back there is still there. Just, just whenever anyone gets in that cannon, <laughs> he just starts shooting at them. I'm gonna snipe him. Is what I'm gonna do. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the old one-two punch. Bad revive, mate, sorry. He's over here. Oh, there, yeah, look at the map. Jesus. Oh, crap, yep, the entire team is there, apparently. If I had some dynamite there, that would have been... <laughs> that would have been the top... The toppest of Keck right there. Hey! We got a kill. Even with the broken crosshair, let's go. <laughs> when you zoom in, it just... The centre of the screen is literally just the entire magazine. Flying away as well. Is that friendly? Yeah, he's a friendly plane. 
What are you bombing, buddy? There's nothing there. Stop bombing things. Well, this was like a really fun first impression of the map, I think. I had, I had a lot of fun this round. Hope you guys enjoy it too. You can't see anything at all. I guess you could shoot down to the ground when they fix the, uh, the crosshair. I'm hoping you could. Oh, I was going to knife him. There was another guy there. We are just about going to get the GG though, I reckon. Six points left. Yeah, we got this. Easy mode. Hey, good game. That was fun. Enjoyed it. Uh, let me know your thoughts down in the comments below, guys. That's a quick look at uh, another one of the new maps in the Name of the Tsar DLC. That one's called Albion. It's huge. A lot of people are talking about it at the moment. It's quite exciting because there's, you know, new stuff in there. I'd love to be able to play that new game mode, though, Supply Drop, because we don't really know much about that. But apparently that bomber as well, that big bomber, can actually drop a crate, like a support crate, if you pick the support package, so that's interesting. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Give me a thumbs up if you did, a thumbs down if you didn't. Subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next one.